Welcome in to this special edition of New England Patriots Today by Chat Sports. Tyler Jones here with you. Thanks for joining us. You may have noticed I'm not in studio, and I am at home at my uh, parents' house in Oklahoma, uh, taking care of some family business this uh, weekend, and I uh, had some family stuff to attend to. But with that, still wanted to bring you guys a video here on the channel uh, with an update on some headlines going on with your Patriots going into the weekend. Um, we're going to talk about DeAndre Hopkins today, also about the idea of potentially signing Matt Ioannidis as well as Pro Football Focus has named New England as the top destination to potentially sign Ioannidis. We'll uh, dive into that coming up in just a matter of moments. Before we do, encourage you to subscribe to the channel. We're uh, trying to get to 3,000 subscribers, and here's the deal. This channel continues to grow so much, and you guys have been awesome with the response uh, of the way this channel has gone over the last several weeks that, I mean, here we are doing at-home videos. Even when I'm taking care of family matters, we're still bringing you a video because you guys deserve that. So if you can do us a favor and subscribe to the channel, uh, that certainly helps us out. Just if you can appreciate our dedication to still bring you a video, even when I'm away from the studio and everything, that would that'd be big for us. And the more subscribers we get, the more we can do these at home type videos or bring you content uh, as we continue to grow, do longer videos. Uh, we're going to be covering OTAs and training camp and all that. So you might as well just go ahead and subscribe to the channel right now. And let's continue. Uh, let's continue this movement here with the uh, Patriots fans. Subscribe for free today. Turn on notifications so you never miss a moment. We'll get started with today's show. So uh, new reports out from Mike Florio of Pro Football Talk, as well as Albert Breer of Sports Illustrated, uh, on DeAndre Hopkins, that there is an, an increased chance that he will ultimately be cut by the Arizona Cardinals. Now, we have talked on this channel previously about the idea of trading for DeAndre Hopkins and the rumors that were out there, the possibility of bringing him in via trade. But the problem that the Patriots looked at and everyone else in the league that was interested in DeAndre Hopkins, they all said to themselves, it's too much. We're not paying $19 million for a receiver that is on the back end of their prime. Doesn't make sense at all. That's just too much money for D-Hop uh, as far as that goes. The Patriots said the same thing that everybody else in the league did. According to Albert Breer, no one wanted to trade for DeAndre Hopkins with his salary. Um, the number exactly is $19.45 million. High salary, but here's one important note, not guaranteed. And so with that, with the Cardinals potentially looking to, you know, free up some money and, and all that, and we know the Cardinals aren't going to be very good. Kyler Murray is going to be out for most of this upcoming season. Does it really make sense to keep DeAndre Hopkins around? And if he, you know, I, I'll put it this way. You're looking at $19 million that you could be spending elsewhere and, you know, just just wasted potentially as far as it comes with DeAndre Hopkins. If you're the Arizona Cardinals, do you really want to do that or would you rather invest in some younger players potentially as you're retooling this roster? And, I mean, if we're being real with y'all, the Cardinals are, are tanking, right? I mean, they're, they're not going to be very good. DeAndre Hopkins isn't going to help you lose football games. It's counterintuitive. Um, and he's not part of your future of the long-term plan if you're Arizona. So maybe it makes sense to go ahead and release him and not have to pay him the, the $19 plus million plus he'd be owed. So then if you're in New England and he's a free agent and that contract is off the books and he hits the open market, that's a game changer. That changes things. Now all of a sudden... It makes total sense. Hell yeah. Bring in DeAndre Hopkins if he's on the open market and see what he commands. He's not going to command $19 million in the open market. You're still looking for one more receiver potentially 
We know that Bill O'Brien and Bill Belichick want this clean slate of sorts when it comes to this offense here. And we've talked about the rumblings of them, uh, you know, shopping a couple different receivers and would like to upgrade the position. Now that makes sense if D Hop is a free agent to make the move. Here's more from Mike Florio. At this point, it makes for the sense for the Cardinals to wait until after June 1st. That would split the $22.6 million cap charge in half between 2023 and 2024. But the problem is, as recently noted by Albert Breer of Sports Illustrated, that no one wants to pick up his $19.45 million salary for 2023. Faced with that reality, Hopkins' best move is to love the ones he's with since the Cardinals remain willing for now to proceed with that salary. Of course, that doesn't mean they'll stay that way. If they can't trade him, maybe the Cardinals will cut him. His salary is non-guaranteed. He becomes guaranteed as a practical matter as of week one. Until then, the Cardinals could risk that Hopkins suffers an injury that will prevent them from cutting him. And that forces them to pay the money. So yes, he's still a Cardinal. Unless he's willing to take less, it won't be traded. If and when he's cut, he'll have a chance to get whatever the open market will pay him. So, if DeAndre Hopkins gets cut, should the Patriots sign him? I'm all ears. Let's see New England. Let's see Belichick make it happen. S for sign, P for pass. Tell me in the comment section. Should the Patriots sign DeAndre Hopkins if he hits the open market? Let me know. S for sign, P for pass. Uh, next up, let's uh, shift gears now and talk about uh, our boy, uh, Matty here, Matt, uh, Ian Dias. And, uh, here's the situation with, uh, Matt Ian Dias, uh, of where he's at. New England has been named the top destination, uh, for Ian Dias, uh, according to pro football focus and his background previously played for the Panthers and the commanders. He was a fifth round pick in 2016 out of temple played in 86 games with 53 starts in his career. And, uh, you know, we, we saw him start uh, most recently for the uh, Carolina Panthers uh, after that time with uh, with Washington. His stats last year, 17 tackles, one sack, one forced fumble. Nothing that, uh, you know, was earth-shattering by any stretch. But this could fill a potential need for what New England is looking for. Here's more from what PFF had to say about this possibility. While New England drafted Georgia Tech defensive lineman Keon White in the second round, a player who figures to kick inside for a handful of opportunities, adding a tried-and-true interior pass rusher alongside uh, a hopefully healthier uh, Christian Barmore would make sense for the Patriots in 2023. Ian Dias was one of the more surprising cap casualties heading into 2022, ultimately landing with the Carolina Panthers on a one-year $5.5 million filler uh, flyer. He paired well with nose tackle Derek Brown and was as a light pass rusher up the middle. Ian Dias has missed time here and there in recent seasons with injuries, but he's been a consistently strong pass rusher from the interior, earning pass rush grades of 69.1, nice, and better in each of the past six seasons with a pressure rate of around 10.6 each of the past two. He would help a lot of teams make things tough on opposing quarterbacks. Um, I don't think he's going to cost that much either. At this point in the juncture uh, of what New England's at with uh, where they're at of money to spend, filling a need, he'd certainly improve it. Why not? To me, that, that makes sense for New England at this point uh, as far as that goes. Should New England sign him? What do you think? Should New England sign Matt Iandias? What do you think? Uh, y for yes, in for no. Tell me in the comments section if uh, they should make this move or not. Subscribe to the channel. We're talking about the Patriots all the time, even even from my parents' backyard if we have to. When I have to make a visit to Oklahoma, we still bring you coverage because we're just built different around here. Help us out. Subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you next time here on Patriots Today. Have a great weekend. Thanks for joining us.